Hi, I'm Dodge Landisman, and I'm a former TV news reporter. I got fired from both of my TV news jobs, one in Wyoming, one in Maryland, and I'm an avid traveler. I've been to 48 states in the USA. I've been to 26 states in Mexico, six provinces in Canada, so I really do love traveling the continent. Last time I was in Mexico, I actually picked up a dog from the street. His name is Name. He was a street dog. I started petting him. He is now my dog, my first official pet. So you will see a dog in, this, in these videos. He is mine and he loves to travel, he loves to meet new people, and I wanted to start this project looking at all the interesting places in the U.S., all the places off the beaten path, and just focusing on how beautiful they are. They might not have to be the Hamptons, or Charlevoix, Michigan, or Miami, Florida, or a lot of the other famous places that tourists go to. And I want to start with New Jersey, because the state of New Jersey was ranked the third least desirable state to live in within the USA. And as somebody who's born and raised in Manhattan, New York City, Manhattanites always looked upon New Jersey with a certain amount of disdain. They called them the bridge and tunnel crowd. But ever since I was a little kid, I would take the PATH train to hang out in Jersey City, hang out in Newark. So I always liked New Jersey. And I want to disprove this myth that New Jersey is that terrible. They call it along with Staten Island, America's armpit or America's landfill. And I think this state is so much more than that. So we are going to start in the city of Patterson. I'm gonna look at every single county in New Jersey and try to spend one month in New Jersey. See, can you have fun spending an entire month within the state of New Jersey as a tourist? I think the answer is yes. We will look at every county, to urban centers, to suburbia, to rural areas. Whatever it might be, we are looking at it if it is in New Jersey. We will start with Patterson, which has a lot of interesting history. Alexander Hamilton actually helped found the city because he saw these giant waterfalls within the city of Patterson, and he felt they could be utilized for manufacturing. So Patterson was created as a manufacturing hub. Uh, the first Colt 45, the first Colt revolver was sold here, and then later Patterson became known as the Silk City. The waterfall gave power to many, many manufacturing areas in the city. Now in the 1950s and 60s, a lot of the middle class left, it, and it's part of this ugly term that people call white flight, where the white middle class fled a lot of the city. I, I never really liked that term, it was just more of a middle class flight, but people say the city has decayed since then, and I completely disagree. Uh, yes, Patterson is known as the third most dangerous city within New Jersey, but there's a lot of vibrancy here. There's a little Lima, there's a little Middle East, the highest concentration of Peruvians outside of Peru. So there's a lot of beautiful, interesting, delicious restaurants to try, great scenery to see, and interesting people to talk to. People think if you go to a dangerous area, you'll be accosted, you'll get robbed, something bad will happen to you. That's not the case. What the case is, is people will talk to you. If you stick out like a sore thumb like me, people want to get to know you, and you'll meet some interesting characters. And these characters might be more down on their luck than the people you see in suburbia or in a big wealthy city. But I want to get their stories. I want to talk with them. So we will be eating, we will be talking with people, we will be hiking, we'll be enjoying the great outdoors, enjoying the great architecture that Patterson has to offer. And it's an exciting, it's an exciting time to do this. It's an exciting state. And I hope you remain with me on this journey. If you live in New Jersey or know it, please let me know. I'd love to interview and talk with you. Um, but thank you. I've always been excited to do this, and after getting canned from not one but two news stations, I feel like having the time to do more substantive journalism and really focus on all the beautiful places that this nation has to offer uh, will be the ultimate goal.